and welcome <laughs> to the two fucking idiots podcast hello what's going on bud i'm robbie i'm jordan i guess we should introduce ourselves right we just did <laughs> okay well um in that case we want to tell you one very special thing what is that rob <laughs> <laughs> um this video podcast and also audio podcast is brought to you by mma coliseum the show it's a youtube channel made by uh I guess we should just say it. My brother, his brother, who is awesome at making who's awesome. MMA videos for and all. for many other reasons. He's awesome yeah, for a lot of reasons. For sure. Um, he does the majority of it on his phone, and I have zero idea how he does it, and it makes it's it so good. Truly so, amazing. MMA Coliseum, the show is check the, it out. You all know, your highlights. Yeah, every single promo you've ever wanted to see for an upcoming fight, mm -hmm. or if you just want to watch a, cute, a few highlights of McGregor talking crap to everybody, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. So it's, we wanted to give him a shout out. Of course, love you, Jeremy. Plus, he does it on his phone, and again, I don't understand how. I don't it even. Looks. I, I get my phone, dude. I'm good. Yeah, I don't understand how he does it from <laughs> his phone. Yeah, seriously, it doesn't make sense to me. Blows so. my mind. It's uh, yeah, but yeah, that's it's pretty cool. Check it out, like and subscribe, smash like and everything, subscribe, smash them, smash or, it, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. So, anyways, yeah, welcome, welcome. You want to wait? Oh. You want to start the show? Oh yeah. All right, yeah. Let's start the show. Boop. Happy and sad. It's story time with two. I don't know if that was, I was supposed to do so. And we're back. And we're back. Welcome. This is our first one ever. We first did kind one. Of a, we did a test audio just to kind of hook up the microphones and stuff, but. Um, that was comedy gold, honestly. Oh, we yeah. wasted you a lot it. of material that day. I'm actually kind of struggling to figure out what to talk about right now. <laughs> honestly, yeah, we should just end it early. Um, All right, guys, thank this you was a watching. mistake. I'll see you yeah, guys. See ya. Love you. Thank you, Jeremy. Jeremy, we love you. Yeah, <laughs> I just rosted. I don't know why. I'm not sure what that means, but hell yeah. I'm just gonna say, yep, of course. Sounds good. So, anyway, we kind of started this podcast because Jordan recently moved 27 hours away. Um, guess where that is, people? It could be 27 hours in a circle. Just mm -hmm. like right down the street from him. He drove 13 and a half hours and then right back to his same house. Yeah. Yeah. No, I live in Nevada now. Robbie, Robbie, where do you live? Exact address and everything. Oh, um, would you like my credit card information? Huh? No, 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 no. We're okay. good about that. No. Um, I live in Lake Villa, Illinois. So chicago illinois <laughs> chicago for sure dude about an hour and a half away so uh i'm from chicago so. you're basically in chicago like that's how it works yeah you grew up on the streets mm -hmm. of the streets of chicago so yeah in like villa illinois across yeah. the street from i'm originally from illinois but i just moved out to nevada because i just like being away from robbie so much <laughs> I needed to yep. be at least 26 hours and I just picked one that was 27 just to be, yeah. be sure that he can't that get extra, me. Yeah. You're you went above and beyond really. Yeah. Um, Robbie can run a marathon. No problem. But if you add another like half a mile, Oh yeah. He can't get to me. So I needed to be 27 miles. It's just, <laughs> just out of reach for yeah, me. So. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, uh, yeah. I'm originally from Illinois and I lived in Wisconsin for a little bit, but now I'm in Nevada. So I'm super far away. So mm -hmm. my, I'm two hours behind Robbie. So I'm winning right now this day. It's perfect. Uh, Cause I've always stayed up later. Well, unless I lay down on a couch for five seconds and then I fall asleep. But yeah. if I'm up and moving around, I generally stay up later. So it, it worked out perfect. Also you wake up at the same time that like a college, weed dealer wakes up um, okay noon okay. basically <laughs> so we're just throwing shots we're just starting woke up with some violence chose some violence i wake up um, pretty early so i'm like all right it's eight o'clock here 
10 o'clock there, dude. You should be up and at them. Let's do I this. I literally woke up at 745 this morning, but apparently that's not early enough, Jordan. I mean, it's, he, it's getting close. It's closer. He jumped out of bed, <laughs> stumbled to the kitchen, poured myself a cup of ambition. Do- You're not a Dolly Parton fan? I, I mean, I'm a fan for two big reasons. <laughs> her voice and her charisma you know what i mean like that you can't tell her nothing no no yeah you also can't hug her fully either so it's two things you know well, about her. we're supposed to be socially distanced anyway jordan so for sure yeah six feet honestly she's like 80 but she's still good to go man she's good to go working nine to five <laughs> how much of that song can i sing legally i don't know if we're gonna get sued but that's fine. i just want to be monetized that's one of the things that we need to do on this podcast is make money so shut make it. money exactly um and so for our three people who are listening right now we very much appreciate you all three of them are jeremy yeah on different accounts <laughs> yeah he's got his phone he's picked up an elder phone from an old person yeah and he's got uh my mom's uh, facebook portal thing so yes all which three. is always listening so no <laughs> just talk too much yeah just don't say facebook. anything worth mentioning just Mm-mm. don't talk anyway. ever <laughs> just ever just, just be quiet for sure anyway so oh ow. <laughs> that was extremely embarrassing all right. Well, that's on camera forever and there's nothing I can do. Man, about it. The fan pages will clip that one and, uh, and post it for sure. They'll just give me a montage episode one of all Robbie's goofs. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, I won't see it in time to tell him to take it down. Cause I don't wake up till noon every day. So, <laughs> I mean, it's true anyway. It's true. Um, yeah. So this podcast, we just wanted to start it to, be hilarious for the public because it's like we're we're so funny together we're we're the funniest it's just there's a lot of comedy that's just kind of wasted in the ether so if we actually have an audience Mm -hmm. again jeremy all three accounts all three of you yep um it'll be great so we'll be able to uh you know spread our reach the masses yeah yeah exactly and then Mm -hmm. also this doesn't have to be a comedy podcast it's just like us talking so yeah you know so don't put us in a box yeah honestly i don't want to be in a box i can be whatever i want to be you can actually that's hard enough what happened i cracked my neck does this also no i didn't hear it i didn't hear it it was a good one. That's all I do nowadays is watch YouTube videos of like golf and chiropractors. Yeah. Which brings me to my first topic that I wanted to bring up is, all right. are we old? <laughs> um, I'm 31. I just, I turned 31 last September. Mm-hmm. Bobby turned 31 last month. Yep. Are we done? January 4th. Like, is it just over with? I was... I was actually riding in the car with uh, Marino, our friend Marino, and uh, just driving down my street. And I was like pointing out the expensive houses on the water and like the architecture. I was like, you know, it looks good from this side, but on Zillow, I saw on the other side, it's beautiful. It's got like seven bathrooms, two <laughs> kitchens. And that was it's the beautiful. landscaping is impeccable. And yeah, I was like, I for sure am an old man now because you know 31 it's cash it in it is. yeah like like what are all of the day so that's like one thing that you do that you consider to be old one mm-hmm. thing that i do is every time i sit down or get up i go Ugh. Ugh. um yeah yep it's just the way it is now i guess uh yeah honestly the rock. You i re- rock into it <laughs> i remember when i was younger if i slipped and fell on the ice i'd be like well <laughs> That ice learned a lesson. You don't mess with That's the J-Dog. Right. Yeah. But now this time. With, get the horn. Yeah. Now this time I'm like, that might put me out of commission for a month if it happens again. <laughs> I. That's funny you say that. I have definitely paid attention to ice this year. I'm yeah. like, don't. There's. I'm like, mom, there's some ice <laughs> on the driveway. Don't slip. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. wear spikes on my shoes everywhere I go, <laughs> yep. just in case there's black ice around, because I don't even know if I've whoa, ever seen it. Whoa. I, I don't know if I've ever even seen black ice, but it's out there and it's Bro, waiting to strike. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't realize I was signing up for this kind of podcast. <laughs> um, I uh, I love you, but 
you're gonna take it there right out of the gate yes yes you're afraid of black eyes dude uh black ice is oh. what I said. oh oh gosh you really got me going i was heated my collar it's warm in here i thought you were just th- being racist right out of the gate you know what i mean no just black ice is what i was oh. saying you know i don't know how you could have misconstrued that as something else but I'm glad you did, honestly, because yeah. right now Jeremy is laughing. He is. He is laughing. And if he's not, he shut it off a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Or he's racist. I'm not saying he is. I don't he think could he be. Is. Honestly, MMA Coliseum, the show is his, <laughs> his, his YouTube channel. <laughs> he is the best racist YouTube Stop. channel. <laughs> he's not racist, dude. <laughs> Oh, could you imagine if we actually took him down right now? (laughs) Buried his life and career. (laughs) No, honestly, I hope he gets like so much more views. Honestly, from this, from the four people that watch this fully. Yep. Um, or at least the first like two minutes or whatever. I don't know what demographic we fall into, but I'm hilarious people. Yes. So Chris Rock, I know you're watching. Love you, brother. Um, yeah, for sure. Well, I don't know if you should call him brother, but anyway, <laughs> this is going just, in down a path I don't want to become. <laughs> case scenario right now. <laughs> this is honestly the worst. Um, oh man. Well, I guess I shouldn't bring up my next topic. Uh oh. What is it? White privilege. No, I'm oh. just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. All right. Oh, can we swear? How long has it been? Uh, um, yeah, I'm sure we can it's the two fucking idiots podcast so we <laughs> are true. we don't with consider ourselves yeah with two g's we don't consider ourselves dumb G-G. no by any means i don't no. necessarily consider myself smart by any means either i'm super smart smarter well, than most people we're just but... like normal guys so yeah we figured super if we smart. named the podcast two fucking idiots people would just relate lower the bar you know lower what I mean? the like... bar we wouldn't have to you know justify it by any means if we if i stand up and just full-on fart into the mic for 25 seconds like no one's going to be like i thought this was a sophisticated podcast they're gonna be like these guys are fucking idiots you know well yes we are and that actually i was gonna ask you how how's your gastro into in intestinal tract it's gastro still- intest inter in extraterrestrial tract it's still breaking world records daily i i I haven't heard it and I'm not saying I want to hear it on this podcast for sure. Cause I don't know what kind of podcast we're trying to be, but um, it sounds amazing. Yeah. You should ask Steph. My, it's my wife. Um, I'll be in any part of the house and I'll be like, finally she's outside and in a hyperbaric chamber. Mm-hmm. Let me just rip one and be quiet. And then I will hear from the outdoors. Ew. Jordan. <laughs> ew. <laughs> yeah i don't know what it is man i think it was just nervous gas by moving out here nervous know. toots dude it's that's a real syndrome i've been saying it for years nervous toots syndrome syndrome is probably not good nervous, nervous toots toots. sounds like a cool band name anyway that band back together brother robbie and i were in a band for a long time uh, we were we had so many hits what were they Rob? yeah um summer summer was a great one that was a banger banger um <laughs> do you remember the time our friend pat made a uh memory video of one summer so i wrote the lyrics for summer we put the song together and so every time in a concert pat came to like all of them he was like one of the three people him jeremy and like my grandma yeah just kidding my never mind so <laughs> we'd always be like this one's for you pat thanks for making that video we played a battle of the bands and i was like pat couldn't be here today but we want him to know that this song's for him and looking back on it we're pretty sure they thought that pat had died (laughs) yeah honestly and that's that's why we got third place in the talent show you know we were really good at selling our stardom even though we were 14 and Mm -hmm. terrible so like Every show we'd be like, "Thank you guys for coming out. We love Chicago." And we like we were in Gray's Lake. Yeah, Gray's Lake. Not Illinois, Chicago. Shout out. Um, at the Oasis. At the Oasis, that is not there anymore. Oh, that is actually super sad. Really, honestly, though, it's pretty cool to say that we played at a venue that doesn't exist. That doesn't like, that's, exist anymore. That's, that's a cool thing, dude. Bands that's say really that. True. So, 
I mean, you could be like, yeah, we rocked it until it crumbled uh, to the ground um, financially. Oh. So it's not stable because <laughs> no one came to see us. But it's I'm sorry, actually, the Oasis. I want to issue a public apology. Yeah, yeah that we no. weren't good enough. But okay. yeah, we were really good at selling ourselves. Oh yeah. Um, even though on the surface, I think on the inside, I was like, this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. We have three songs and we plagiarized all of them. Um, oh, dude. So I listen to songs from back when we were in the band, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I took not only that <laughs> lyric. But that melody, like note for note, line for line. And I'm like, what was I thinking that it was okay? <laughs> this isn't it, it probably just beat. it probably just happened to like because we were we okay, we did reach a little bit of like local stardom. Somebody uh, asked us to sign their fucking iPod. iPod, it was yeah. Really weird. That was before um, iPhones, really. I mean it kind of was, honestly. It was like it was an iPod bad. one. It was yeah. a brick. Um, and we yeah. were like, why do you want us to ruin your iPod? <laughs> Shout thing. out Raymundo Waukegan. <laughs> you're listening. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. We were, uh, I think we just, we, we see, we saw ourselves as like local heroes. And we, then we, we just had to come up with more things to, to, to sing about, you know. Similar to this, <clears throat> we just really believed yeah. that we were on the verge of breaking out and becoming huge you know honestly yeah and like we would practice all the time and mm-hmm. i think we were actually pretty good i we mean were pretty good and people hated us dude every yeah. band hated us man it's all right we were nerds maybe maybe to them like we were well, nerds but... well originally me and robbie's band we had like a fun like i don't know like it was hey like... we're young and whatever vibe and every other band was a screamo scary band mm-hmm. and then like three years later we're like why don't we just become we'll, screamo we'll jump scary. on that train yeah and then when we did that i think we actually did it pretty well but then like it transitioned to like indie not screamo bands and mm-hmm. then it was like now we're the weird guys again <laughs> it's yeah just, it's i've always my whole life i've been like if we could just think of the next thing you know like yeah. if we could just f- pick the next thing, then we'll be great. That's literally I'm what, sure... how Ralph Cramden lived his life. So I'm really glad we're doing this. <laughs> Ralph Cramden? You do not know who that is? Honeymooners? Oh, of course. Literally every single episode, he's like, I got an idea. And it's like the <laughs> stupidest thing you've ever heard. We're only 31, <clears throat> Jordan. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't know why I like that show so much. But uh, I mean, every just... basic sitcom is based on that show basically Mm -hmm. it's just like the dumb husband classic the slightly mean wife and their stupid lives and uh it works though yeah it's been copied and pasted over and over kind of like our music circa 2011 (laughs) you know listen we didn't steal anything we just borrowed slightly well we i i guess we did technically probably make like 16 dollars in our in our seven or eight year career as musicians at least um, yeah we spent all the denny's that night (laughs) that night dude those pancake puppies bro like we're not sponsored by denny's no actually we are sponsored by mma coliseum the show see the show my brother's youtube channel it's really good actually yeah for sure you should check it out and he's not even sponsoring us we're just no throwing it out there he's just that good yeah, and he deserves it, honestly. <laughs> like, honestly, he's the most positive person. We moved Jordan um, into like a truck basically a couple Saturdays ago, and it was just more than any of us could have imagined. You know, there was just more stuff in that little house um, that you could ever just imagine. And it just kind of got everyone was a little frustrated. And I just like walk up to Jeremy and be like, man, I'm frustrated. This is going to be tough. And he'd be like, I don't know, man, we're here. We're alive. You know, we're, <laughs> we're living life and it's going to get done. Work's going to get done. He's just like the most positive person in the entire world. Yeah. He's like Tony Robbins is like little mm-hmm. brother. Yeah. Stony Robbins. Okay. That's not his name. I don't know what Tony Robbins, his brother is, but that was good. I like <clears throat> Stony. If his name isn't Stony, then they messed up that family. <laughs> Uh, Tony, Tony, Stoney, get it. Did here. you call me? No, Stoney. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, anyway. if you could overcome that, you could become a motivational speaker. That's for sure. I don't think I've ever watched a motivational speaker, but some people get me going. I don't know, man. I'm ready to like run through a wall. Should and we then tap I'm like, into that a little bit? Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, 
I don't believe in it really. <laughs> I'm just never... like a realist all my life. So oh, like if some guy wants to like motivate me, I'm like, yeah, but then what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this time. Yeah, it worked for one hour, whatever. What about when I can't listen to this YouTube video? My battery's going to run out at some point. Jeez. (laughs) Yeah, seriously. It's Wednesday. I got to make it to Friday. Jesus. (laughs) All right. Um, uh, That voice is ruining my life, by the uh, way. I can't stop. I can't stop. Greg, I blame you if you're listening. Uh, Greg is a guy I worked with. He's hilarious, super good golfer, um, big fan of the office. Um, I believe his social security number starts with a four and ends yeah, yeah, with yeah. A, yeah, something like that. Yeah. But anyway, um, if by if by for some reason his social security <laughs> starts with four, number starts with four, um, he's gonna be real suspicious of you. All right. Yeah, honestly, he shouldn't have left me alone with his books. I don't know. Hey, yeah. all right. No, me and him, like this last summer, we started just doing that stupid brooklyn hey whatever accent what whenever we wanted to do a voice and yep it's hilarious for most circumstances but it's literally like i go to the store and i'm like yeah so this lady comes up to me and she's like hey what do you want <laughs> and it's just like just, that's not how the lady sounded i'm trying to buy some <laughs> eggs here yeah it's not it's not how it works so my it's mom just, voice is uh I know I, you know it. I know it. Yeah, for sure. My mom voice is uh, like, hey, Rob, just go <laughs> ahead and just go and pick up all the stuff in the yard and, you know, rotate the house 360. I did a lot of chores as a kid, I guess. Yeah. When when Robbie and I were young, I'd be like, hey, Rob, want to hang out and go to the amusement park or whatever we would do? Mm. And he'd be like. Generic amusement park. Yeah. Yeah. Not anything with don't say it until they give us the flags. money yeah, yeah multiple flags does not we'll exist. call it seven flags decent <laughs> america yeah decent america that's yeah sounds like a, a really bad documentary that i would probably watch honestly <laughs> yeah for sure if it was on youtube i'd watch it but anyway i would go yep. and be like hey rob you want to go hang out and he'd be like yeah i can't uh, until i get all these chores done and then he would unfurl <laughs> like a roll of chores yeah well you fold it twice it was a scroll you would pull it out Mm. i'd be like yeah can you help me with this manageable list of chores here (laughs) i'd be like yeah fine we'll get it done and then yeah it was like a hey arnold episode we got to the amusement park as they were closing yeah and we were dressed as bananas and Mm -hmm. strawberries yep was he a strawberry i think so gerald what I guess he could have, I guess, it, what a tomato besides that. Like, <laughs> I thought you were gonna, no, don't. Uh, yeah, he was a banana with like an oddly large banana end coming out of his like pelvic area. Um, he got a, he got a, he I mean, his a, head was shaped like that. Well, who knows what his other thing, who's to say, Cur- the, the curtains match the drapes. That's the same thing. <laughs> the rug matched the curtains. I don't. Why am I winking? Why am I winking? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I used to watch Aaron all back in the day. I love that show. Do you remember what Steph told us yesterday? The advice she gave us? Uh, Stay on topic and shut the fuck up. Yeah. And be someone completely different than yourself. right? Oh, she yeah. Says, yeah. yeah. Dress nice. Talk <laughs> like you're interesting. Just be everything that you're not. Yeah. And this show will be successful. She's like, try not to be yourself. Because yeah. I'm kind of over it at this point. She li- was attacking us. Yeah, she was attacking us mentally, physically. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we actually, luckily, um... since we got here, I've been referring to her as Reno Steph. Reno because Steph. Reno Steph is aggressive and kind she's of monster, mean to me. Dude. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's mean to me. We were on the road like it's like our fifth time on the highway, and I yep. took like the wrong exit because there is a segment of the highway here. It's like 395 or something where. There's like a an exit, and then literally like 700 feet later, there's another exit, which normally they're about a mile apart. You know, sure. you know, for the most part, you're give you downtown Chicago. Yeah, and I guess in this case, it may be something like that because there is a downtown Reno area. But um, I got off at the wrong one, and she's like, "That's what you call it, <laughs> loser." I got off at the wrong exit, and she was like, "Oh, yeah, you needed to get off at the next one." And I'm a little frazzled. I mean, just 
being in a new city and not understanding Mm -hmm. she's like yeah you you didn't you you should have waited and i was like i didn't though she's like but you should have but you should have and i was like i don't like this reno stuff Mm -hmm. who's coming out right now um and now that's you in your place that's that's even like do yeah that's even like gotten into our jobs because we both work together and now there's other people that know about reno stuff and oh, yeah. she has the comedy chops to keep this up and continue to like emasculate me in front of oh, my yeah. other co-workers it's e- it's easy to emasculate you for sure so <laughs> so like <laughs> like they walk in and they're like hey i heard uh, reno steps here today and she's like yeah work that idiot to the bone and i'm like whoa whoa like what the hell this is gonna carry her to like being the branch manager literally literally she she has it in her to like just continue it it's pretty funny and not to mention the fact and we've touched on this i don't know why i'm being so nice to steph on video here but she has the work ethic she works harder than anyone else in the world she put this podcast together for us in like three hours yeah, honestly, so. she had like a t-shirt design and like a, an <laughs> intro song in like bumper 30 stickers. If people Literally. still use those, yeah, it's amazing. But I was never a bumper sticker guy. I did have the Blackhawks logos on my car for a little bit. Yeah, I've got like a half torn off UFC gym from when I worked there. I mean, I have the Imperial Star Wars logo, I guess, on mine. You are so cool. I Fuck just like seriously. the people that know that I'm a Star Wars fan, but mm-hmm. I'm kind of a bad boy. Like, I like Ooh. the bad guys. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. What's up? Like, You're the like... Rebels? Like, yeah, you ride with the Rebels. Ooh. No, no, no. The Rebels are the good guys. Oh, <laughs> you... you you don't know fucking anything about Star Wars. <laughs> what's his yeah, name? Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> what's his He's name? Such a Garth Vader. What is it? Um, Garth. It's Garth, right? You said. Yeah, it's Garth. Yeah, for sure. Um, but no, I like I like people to know that I'm a fan, but I'm a fan enough that I like the bad guys because honestly, dude, they live a better life. They yeah, maybe shorter. Sure, but they live a better life than the other people who are like struggling the whole fucking movie. Dude, I might be outing myself as a sociopath. I'm not. I don't think. I think um, I might be honestly. But I was watching Avengers again the other day. Thanos, dude, he kind of all he wants to do is like make the world better by eliminating half of everyone. Half of everyone, like it's not a big deal. Like it would hurt now. But like, yeah, you're good. Everybody's got enough melons to eat, or whatever he's eating in that. Dude, those melons are terrifying and look delicious. Um, literally, they say Gamora's like what he's. She's probably thirty. So he's known her for 25 years and 25 years, her planet it's barren fruit, bearing fruit. Yeah. All because he had the balls to do what other people didn't. <laughs> Honestly, let's discuss this and we're going to hit on something a little bit later. How big are Thanos's balls? He is a dude, humongous guy, dude. Literally or physically. I mean, both practically, practically, figuratively. I know words. Okay. I he... told you I'm smart. I mean, they just got to be like, they Gigantic. probably have like the same like probably thing that his chin has. Like they're probably like mm, lined, like rippled. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you think they're like coconut size? Is that I, big that's enough? probably that's probably big enough. But then Anything his dick's got to be like huge. Gigantic, dude. It just looks like a, the one eyed, one horn, <laughs> flying purple people eater. You know what I mean? <laughs> It probably does have one eye and one horn. So, but um, bum bum. Oh man, is that yeah. where we got our intro from? Fuck. It... <laughs> Great, close. we're Great. shooting again. <laughs> By the one-eyed, one-horn, flying purple people. Seriously, people. who even wrote that song? I don't even understand what kind of drug Dude. you're on to write this stupidest song I've ever heard in my life. What are we doing? I read. So I have a son, Sawyer Jordan. If you didn't know, he's six. Surprise. Oh my god. Yeah. How um, have I not heard about him? I know. The last six years. That's insane. But um, I'll read him bedtime stories and I'm like, I could do so. We could write that. You know what I mean? Like, are there rich children's authors? And I'm not trying to, okay. I don't know if for some reason the children's author community is going to be uh, big fans of our show. Probably not now that I just said you that your uh, <laughs> occupation was stupid, <laughs> but I'm just saying I've, I've made up a couple stories. I mean that, I mean, rival, if not better than most besides of course, 
I mean, Shel Silverstein is yeah a standout. You know, yeah. The Giving Tree shaped my life. I think you know I still cry when I read it. Um, Where does the sidewalk end? You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I didn't know until that book. No, and to this day, you know, who knows? <laughs> who knows? There's no way to tell. But yeah, I think that if we got into the the kid the kid music game or like the kid story book game. Let's break down what we would need to do in order to become a successful children's author. You need like a frog who can't speak English. Oh, okay. So (laughs) I thought you meant like supplies, like what (laughs) what we would need to become successful. We need a reference in order to draw a frog. Doesn't speak English. One frog. No, you just need like L frog. (laughs) Yeah, you just need like a goofy animal that can't get rid of the hiccups for some reason. <laughs> and then that's a whole book. That's it. Oh, literally. And he just, just meets other banger. characters that are like, Long have away. you tried holding your breath? And he's like, yep. I have. And the next did one's you, like, drink water, drink water upside, upside down. Upside down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Why does everybody know that? Uh, I, I remember when Tracy showed me to do that, like to dips. plug my nose. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he plugged my ears, I think. Mm-hmm. something like or maybe i did both i don't know that's that's intimate bro he and he held the dr- he held the drink for me and <laughs> i was like he's for sure gonna splash this right in my face and oh, then yeah. he didn't because he he's did. a nice person he's a great guy i just i remember that and it got rid of my hiccups somehow because i was just like i think so in terror that i was going to get splashed mm-hmm. in the eyes <laughs> with with a beverage but that yeah. uh that same guy at that same establishment that we worked at together um, got me a cake for my 21st birthday and smashed the fuck out of my face into that cake. <laughs> I had strawberry coming out of my nose for literally three days. I was oh. like, oh, I have a nosebleed. No, it's fucking strawberry. So I'm glad he didn't torture you with food <laughs> like he did me. He just gave me a, a great, you know, life advice. You know, if I ever have mm-hmm. hiccups, I know what to do now. Make but lemonade. yeah, we need a frog who can't get rid of the hiccups. That's, and doesn't speak English. Yeah, he doesn't speak English. Does and re- I know Spanish, so it's literally ridiculous. That would be a best selling. We have a book signing at Barnes dibs. and Noble next week with that. I, I just dibs it. So what's his can't steal what's it. the frog's right. name? Fernando. Boom. Done. Boom. It's over with. That was my Spanish name in high school. Which is like was weird it? I didn't just pick Roberto, but yeah, what the hell? Mine was Pedro be because of none. mine was Pedro because Pedro Martinez was a mm-hmm pitcher and that was like the only spanish name i could think of at the Mm -hmm. time and then you're just pedro for 10 years or whatever (sighs) i I went to high school for four years i don't know about if you did 10 but well i actually took (laughs) spanish in middle school oh that's right yeah so at peter j peter j pms so a little backstory robbie and i we met in what like fourth grade i think fourth grade I remember it was. We'll just say fifth grade or sixth grade, whatever it was. I, oh, wow. I met I met Jordan in sixth grade, but obviously he knew who I was. You know, I mean, my yeah. reputation precedes me. The person that was, you know, just super funny and awesome, an awesome, good looking. And then next to smart. him was Robbie standing next to him. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That was um, <laughs> that hurt my feelings. <laughs> I'm <laughs> laughing through the pain right now. Yeah, for uh, sure. But yeah, good. we we've known each other for a really long time, and yeah. uh, we played I, trumpet together in band. Yep, we definitely struggled through trumpet and band. Mm-hmm. Um, had a lot right. of good laughs there. Basically, it was just me and Robbie and our other friends playing trumpet, just goofing around the entire yeah. single band class every single. And then class. yeah, exactly. And then some of them got really good, which wasn't fair. Well, we also were good enough to just kind of slide by without really caring. Listen, I, you guys were, it was like five chairs in the front row. And I was like the sixth or seventh chair in the back um, with Mac Conkey, who ended up being the best trumpet player out of everyone. If we're being completely honest, don't tell Andrew Eklund I said that, but all (laughs) I'm going to say is Chi Lo was sitting right in that fifth chair. Remember Chi? I I love Chi, man. Yeah. Well, if I wouldn't have fucking taking his ass out in a challenge <laughs> maybe the two of you would be doing a podcast right now because i saw that fifth spot i was like that could be me and i nuked him bro i took his ass out you know what's crazy like the fact that as children they're like 
you want to do better challenge each other (laughs) it's just like this really (laughs) in-depth like crazy thing that we allow children to just be like i've practiced this part more than you mm -hmm. and i'm about to steal your chair bitch because chi bumped down to six chair he got moved to the second row you okay, know what I'm saying? You seem that to remember have... a lot of the ongoings that were going on in band. I just it remember meant a showing lot to up, me. All right. Sitting next to Christina Eddy and just uh, being like, hey, I have a crush on you man. for six years. I asked her out. I, I mean, I listened to some she of She was this, the like... only girl in our in our area. <laughs> so we were just like, hey, yeah. Do you like guys? Like <laughs> just Shannon, too... yeah. Shannon Karecki was playing saxophone across the room. I couldn't ask her out. You know what I mean? It, it's so weird to me, dude, that I remember some of those names, mm-hmm. but people that I spent more time in high school with, like mm-hmm. intimately, not yeah. intimately, but like close enough. Sure. I don't remember anybody's name from high school. It's no. it's not like I do it on purpose. I remember certain people, obviously, but like <laughs> friends that I have on Facebook, I'm like, who are yeah. you? I don't well, remember this person. If they like Got get married, married. Yeah. exactly. I'm not calling anyone out, obviously, you just, but sometimes <laughs> that name changes back, and you're like, "Man, I'm so sorry to hear that." You know? Yeah, and then you're just like putting on your nice jeans to go meet them somewhere. <laughs> do you have Without, nice jeans? I, I feel like I have normal dude, jeans. I'm I've gotten so fat in quarantine that I don't think any of my jeans fit me anymore. So yeah, I've got nice, nice sweatpants. Nice sweatpants. Yeah, yeah for I've sure. got a real nice pair of joggers. Dude, I did I did jury duty one time for an entire week. What? Uh, it was a guy. You got picked? Yeah, I got wait, picked. Wait, wait, wait. Are you allowed to say this? Yeah, it's over with. So. Oh, all right. Uh, it was a guy who like head on. He was like drunk and he like oh. collided with somebody and killed like two people. It was crazy. Wow. Honestly. I wasn't prepared for this. Like, I don't have yeah. a law degree. I don't want to mm-hmm. sit here and do this. But um, you have to decide. Yeah. Yeah. It was like kind of scary. Anyway, That's I wore a great point. That's I wore sw- <laughs> I wore sweatpants the entire week that I was there. Yeah. And when I said that to the guys that I work with, they were like sweatpants. And my actual response was, they're nice sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> because I was there for eight hours listening to like brutal testimony the first guy that like talked was the guy who survived the crash who his friends died and he was he obviously wasn't in a great mood to be like hey i'm happy to be here like i might i might cry right now like i'm an emotional person i don't think i could say i they would kick me off the jury because i'd be like how could you do that (laughs) how did you do that to his friends yeah dude it was it was brutal and then when we had to (laughs) deliberate I remember it was like late Thursday and they just were like, let's just push this guilty verdict through that way we can all go back to our lives tomorrow. And I was like, and I was like, can we just wait till tomorrow so we can all just like digest this problem? We're about to send this guy to jail for like 87 years. You were eight good men. What's that show? What's that movie? A few good men. A few good. Yeah. A few good men. Is that the one about the jury? Oh no. Runaway jury. You maybe there's a lot of movies about juries i just don't know about yeah but there's like a classic movie that's like 12 men in oh uh i hope someone is listening to this and shouting it at their phone right now. they definitely are i i think it might just be like 12 jury (laughs) you're obsessed with a few good men bro you just said it the other day i'm that's a great movie i've seen it but it is it is about a courtroom so right yeah. Jags. It's about some Jags. Yeah, I don't watch that show though because I'm not a middle aged woman. Well, I beg to differ. So, anyway, so, <laughs> and they were like, no, let's push this verdict through. Kind of. But I it. was like, can we just literally, you're not allowed yeah. to talk during the entire trial to yeah. each other at all. So, it was the first time we could actually talk. And I was like, can we just like wait till tomorrow? And like, there's other people there that weren't getting paid to be there. So I'm sure yeah. that they were kind of like, listen, I run a landscaping company. Mm-hmm. I'm not making any money sitting here. Let's get the shit over with. But I was like, this is like serious to me. Like, this is like, I'm not oh, qualified to make this decision. They're like, "Ugh, I don't care what happens <laughs> to this guy. Yeah. I have Cubs tickets tomorrow. Yeah, literally dude. It was, it was a, a really crazy experience. That's insane. Dude. I I've been to jury duty probably twice before and I didn't get picked. 
And I was like, man, I hope I get picked. I'm ready to judge some motherfuckers. And then when it came time to actually do it, I was like, I don't yeah. want to do this. Grass this is, is always greener, dude. I, I could have been, it would have been great if it was just like a robbery or something. Yeah. Like not where somebody no where like, died. yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> like, Ooh. But the moral of the story is, is I wore sweatpants the entire time because they were nice. Um, they were nice. And I Fancy wanted to be comfortable pants. while I listened to the worst mm-hmm. stories I've ever heard in my life. So 100%. I'm not That's... trying to listen about no murder in jeans, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> no, yeah, dude. You know? Manslaughter. He, he gave the, the, the cops the wrong name. So, dude, he got hit with like 15 charges. Like, oh, in what Wisconsin, the hell were you doing, dude? In Wisconsin, it was like, uh, why wait th- till Friday? Send that motherfucker to jail, <laughs> bro. What? There was a lot of testimony, dude. It was like every single cop that got on the stand was like wearing a policeman's uniform. Of course. And the first question that they had to ask was, what do you do for your profession? <laughs> so that they have it like on the record. And I'd be like, can we just stop asking this yeah. question? Like, and you'd just be like, obviously you're a police officer. Yeah, exactly. But um, not really under oath, I get it. But yeah, I'm sure there's a reason. But it was I've just seen Blue Bloods. Laugh. I've watched that show. Tom Selleck. I don't watch anything with Donnie or Mark Wahlberg. You watch um, your mouth. I'm just going <laughs> to warn you beforehand. We don't talk bad about the Wahlbergs on this podcast. Okay. What about the third one? What's his name? Stoney. I think. <laughs> I it think it's yeah. Stoney, Stoney Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, but I don't anyway, think I've ever seen that show. Came out of your mouth. I, I mean, it's any, I don't know. My mom has always loved those shows. So I could sit and watch blue bloods or law and order or ncis law, law and order i fuck with law and order dude sure. svu bro no i don't need special victims unit no i want old lenny <laughs> lenny and, uh the <laughs> and the guy, guy from rent yeah J- jesse no yeah. pinkman i don't know his name i can't remember his name <laughs> smollett i think jesse smollett <laughs> yeah for sure no that's I'm my not... that's my crew like yeah. it's almost like when I watched SNL back in the day, I was like, yeah. Jimmy Fallon's going to be on this show forever. And then when he mm-hmm. left, I was like, what's the show going to do without him? Like I, that was like my yeah. law and order. Like I get it. guys changed. I was like, this, uh, this sucks. This is a different crew. What the hell. I feel like SVU made me an empath, you know, like I just watched so much of it with my mom growing up, eating popcorn and drinking Diet Pepsi. Um, just those two things. Yeah. I mean, that's, if you're not eating and drinking those two things while watching Law and Order SVU, you're messing up, dude. Are you even shot. alive? <laughs> no, you're mm-hmm. dead, dude. You're dead to me. That's for sure. I've been so angry lately, dude. It's just because wanna... it's cold One by second. you. By oh, me, yeah, because it's, it's like, cold. By me, it's nice. Okay. What is it, 37 degrees out? Jeez. <sighs> it's a high of 52 today. Um <sighs> super sunny um yeah i flipped you off god flip-offs are so awkward i mean a good one can change your life i feel like yeah but some people do the fucking like that one right there the thumb the thumb oh roll? yeah we call that the pat yates two and a quarter or something why is that <laughs> i don't know because <laughs> he lo- he did it i don't know i don't i mean I'm not that creative, probably, okay? I probably learned that from, like, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Like, Ooh, yeah. Um, I was telling everybody to suck it and flipping everybody if you off. you smell what Stone Cold Steve Austin is cooking. I right? believe that's how it goes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I believe. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Honestly, you look like more of a punk if you do that one. Yeah. Like, you look like you don't know how to pay your taxes. <laughs> If you do that one, you know what I mean? Um, like, yeah, that's fair. Who does, right? This yeah. one is like you have a dining room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, but sometimes you get the people are so mad that it's almost like, oh, they can't clench their fist tight enough. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to be Dane Cook, but why did we choose one finger to, to enunciate how you're feeling? Uh, yeah. I mean, I had an itchy asshole last week. So <laughs> don't tell Louis CK. Am I right? I mean, we can start. We can start that podcast some other time. Uh, yeah, where we'll we talk just about that on another day. Steal everybody's material. Perfect. Um, oh, I anyway. can't do that anymore. Can't do you got? That. Do you got a topic for me, bro? Well, we covered a couple of them. Uh, we are smarter than everyone listening. I don't know. That, I said that, but yeah, that's true. Um, for sure. So there's no uh, question. Well, yeah, obviously, me at least. But uh, <laughs> I guess people don't know us well enough to know that I'm absolutely serious. 
<laughs> I'm a genius. I got a 39 on my ACT. So uh, a little news update, a little, uh, I guess, hot topic right now. Jose Canseco got KTFO last night. I saw and that, and I don't understand why he was even like... 56-year-old ex-baseball player just throwing bombs. Yeah. Sorry, I have to text somebody. This is inappropriate. <sighs> You always do this, Jordan. <laughs> when we're spending time together, I'm, just kidding. I'm so thirsty. I didn't want to take a sip of water, but since you're texting, I'll. Uh... Oh, so he took a dive last night and everyone's mad about it. So that's what he did. That's what yeah. It was? I mean, it's I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but everyone's like he came into it with a torn shoulder and they're like, how dare you um, patronize the entire sport by coming into a fight with a torn shoulder and then going down and quitting after 10 seconds. And Is that how I fast mean, that was? It was literally, yeah, the fight started and it was against some 22 year old, like football player. Um, I saw the fight. I just, yeah, it was really quick. care about Jose Canseco. That, yeah. Well, that was the whole thing, you know, but my take on it is, you disgraced the name of rough and rowdy from barstool sports. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of fighting and I, I watch a lot and I tuned in to see as many fights as I could last night on mm -hmm. replays. Cause I'm broke. Um, but it's just like, how are you going to be mad at a guy for taking a dive in like a random backyard fight? It's basically a glorified backyard fight. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, for sure. It's not, I guess it's sanctioned, but it's amateur fights without headgear, which I, I guess happened in MMA. I had one, but generally in boxing, I don't know. But anyway. But but if somebody in your fight would have taken a dive, it's not like there would have been like Twitter yeah. uproar over it. Well, it, yeah, <laughs> I guess there's money on it. People probably bet on stuff, but I don't know. It's just an interesting uh, scenario. Next time you have a for sure thing, bro, tell me about it. I know, God, right? If Jose texts you directly and says tells he's, you taking, that a he's dive, taking a dive. I should have known. Well, me and Jose are close, you know, me and uh, Jose Canseco, we go way back. Yep. Um, and I, I think just... you guys were the Bash Brothers, I think, right? Back in the day yeah. in the Oakland A's. Yeah, that's what they called us. Yep. Um, Robbie and Jose, the Bash Brothers, you that's know. What it, that's how it was uh, announced every day yep. when you walked into the place. And that's why I'm 31 and I live with my mother. <laughs> um. <laughs> but you you help her out with all those chores though. So. I do. I still do a scrolls worth of chores every single day. So. A scrolls, honestly. You know how like four score and seven years ago, the word score means twenty, I believe. In okay. That, in that, if you want to use it like that, isn't it like seventeen? I don't remember. <laughs> it might be twenty. I make whatever it, it is. Yeah, honestly, yeah, sorry. But it could mean a fucking hundred fucking years. Okay. Yeah. Who cares? Who Words cares? that, that depict a lot of like an amount were yeah. made for your mother's chores. Chores so list. instead 100%. of you being like, I have 175 chores. You could be like, I got three weasels and four dozen scores. And four to do. dozen scores. A hundred percent. Yeah. That oh, way it doesn't feel as much, you know, the, the anger and the pain is just bubbling <laughs> inside of me from just 30 years of nonstop chores. Uh, but, you know, it's made me the man I am today. Hilarious. He oh, I mean, thanks, bud. I'll just say it like we're we're both funny, but like you're slightly less. But it's like really <laughs> it's like you've been trying so hard even to be in a, the se a sentence with you. Yeah, in, I mean, in I the funny it. conversation, just I'm honored. <laughs> I guess it makes it. me so happy. Um. So yeah, I got Are We Old? We got that one. Dude, what is overrated to you? Like what thing or what is yeah. the definition? No, not the definition. Why the fuck would I ask you what the definition <laughs> of overrated is? I don't know. It's a podcast, dude. We talk about the important things. Okay. Listen, I'll tell you what's overrated to me. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Velveeta mac and cheese can go fuck off. I don't understand. It's overrated. I don't need shells. I don't need soft ass fucking cream whatever Dude. cheese it is craft is far superior i don't need Velveeta in my life who the fuck who does it funny funny you should ask um 
I love Velveeta <laughs> mac and cheese. Okay. That's why it's overrated to me because everybody loves it, and I'm always no, like, they bring out that lo- they bring out that yellow box, and I'm like, I better just fucking see myself out right now because I'm. Not Who gonna- are you? I feel like it's there's not enough Velveeta lovers in the world. Why do you think Kraft is so huge? You think mac and cheese? You think Kraft? It's elbow noodles, right? Yeah, that's macaroni, right? Yeah, Velveeta the the shells can scoop the cheese. But the cheese is like, <laughs> like liquidy and weird. I oh, need, yeah? I, you know what? I need some WAP mac and cheese. I need macaroni in a pot. <laughs> Dude, you don't get that noise. You don't get that noise with Velveeta. Insane. You're <laughs> insane right now. Just, you can take a bowl. You could take a pot of Kraft macaroni and cheese, drain it into a glass and drink it. It's cheese juice. Okay. That no, you're putting. no, it's not. How it's, much? it's light powder. What are you talking about? It's <laughs> Am I powder. Too much milk in my mac and cheese? Is that? What yeah, I'm bro. It's like an eighth of a cup or something. I <laughs> I used to just guess. Nah, dude. I used to guess when I made it, and then one time I added way too much, and I was literally like, never again, Here's never awesome. again. You could swim through Kraft macaroni and cheese. Okay? No way, bro. It's, you could stand in it like quicksand. Yeah, right. You could stand in it. it. If you tried to swim through Velveeta, you would just be laying on top and slowly. That's the quicksand. <laughs> Are you thinking of the right mac and cheese? No, mac and cheese. Are you cheese, thinking of the right brand? My mac and cheese, my ideal mac and cheese should be mm. like almost like paste, like not liquid. Just make Velveeta, the noodles. Velveeta, dude. That's exactly. Okay. No. Velveeta is, is like if, soup. It's like macaroni if, and soup. If Kraft Mac and Cheese were the president of the United States, not my president. Okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, okay. I, I literally mean, made some the other night. It was okay. Yeah. We'll have to agree to All disagree right. on this one. Um, but I'm no, we, we right. can No, 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 no. We can <laughs> agree to disagree on things like sports teams. Okay. Sure. But not on mac and cheese, bro. Not. I mean, I have this eaten... country was built on the back of no. mac and cheese. Listen, bro, those little individual Velveeta cups are literally the worst. I don't know what it is. It's just oh, like I said, it's like oh. soupy, weird. But then when you about actually the one time, the yeah, one time when... containers. Yeah, but when you add the, like the actual brick of melty weird cheese what kind of cheese is that dude uh, that again what kind of powder is cheese i don't understand where we're going at this point but keep talking george the Go powder ahead. is convince the yourself because once you add the butter and everything it's perfect it's a perfect have you ever, meal have you ever eaten american cheese yes have you ever taken six thousand slices of american cheese and smashed them together into a long cheese cube and put them with some mac and cheese shells because that's Velveeta. okay is it american cheese it's, is that what it's supposed it's, to be I'm, yeah. You know what? It is. It's not even a cheese. They people call it Velveeta cheese because it's just like its own entity of grossness. Velveeta cheese is America. Okay, hear me loud and clear. Listen, let us know in the comments below uh, <laughs> who's winning this argument. From sea to shining sea. Okay, uh, Velveeta. From cheese to shining cheese. Velveeta is America. Okay. So I don't just think keep so. that in mind. I just don't think so. And it's weird because I know that, you know, some people have unpopular opinions and I feel bad for you that you have one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dude, um, as long as I'm right, which I am. So um, yeah, for sure. But no, th- that to me is slightly overrated. I don't know. Oh, geez. I got so passionate about the cheese. I don't even know what else. Listen, I knew we would get passionate about mac and cheese. Yeah, I had a I feeling like- you were a Velveeta guy just by looking at you. Like you just knew. <laughs> You just, I just knew my body Vel- looks like a brick of Velveeta <laughs> cheese because I'm fat. Got it, Jordan. Thanks. No, no, no. I'm Thanks just saying, a like, lot. like, you just, yeah, you just look like a Velveeta. Stick. I just, I just ooze Velveeta <laughs> is what you're saying. I just yeah. sweat Velveeta. Yeah. Some kind of sauce. I don't know what it is, but something Jeez. like that. Um, um, you know what I think is super overrated, Jordan? Uh, and it's kind of a broad topic it's less of like a single thing yeah what else uh what else you got to say huh what is else? uh it's just gonna sound like a hot take but haters okay haters are overrated you know lebron james who cares if he's as good better or worse than michael jordan we're living in a time hey, of Ralph, you got what? the mic like right in your face like it's kind of like you can't hear me no i can hear you fine it's just the mic is you like you're you're speaking as the mic now like i can't see you anymore 
Are you high right now? You moved no. to Nevada, picked up a J. What's up, dude? No, no, but like you're you're basically talking like Hey Jordan, this. you're hold on, you just moved your mic right in front of your face. Yeah, no, that's what I'm trying to tell you is that your mic that is that you front of moved your, face. your mi- mic in front of your face? No, no, your mic is right in front of your face. I can't see oh, you. Oh so I moved wow. my mic to depict what you're seeing. Like when you put your brights on to tell someone that their brights are on. Yeah. Anyway, I kind of like this look, honestly. This is kind of cool. Let's yeah. Anytime I don't have to look at your face, for sure. It's like... That is slightly rude, but I get it, I guess. <laughs> I get it. Oh, what a beard on that guy. Oh, man. I wish it would be thicker. I wish I could like, Ugh! but I can't. Yeah. I just don't have really? the patience, man. I don't have the yeah, patience. Yeah. That I think sense. it has to look like terrible for like three years for it, it to is. finally get to a point where you're like, look, I'm braiding it. Yeah, for sure. But I just don't there's have a, it in me. There's a guy I follow on TikTok who's like uh, a big, burly, huge beard and just like incredibly liberal. And he's just a funny guy. And you look at him and you're like, what's this guy going to say? He's going to be talking about like chopping wood and living in a log cabin. And he's pretty eloquent and a wonderful beard. I obviously don't even try anymore. Um, I just went with like the half-ass mustache, the half-ass yeah. stash, half a you stash. Just, you wanted to pick that, like you may be into children. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bring it on, just like, like- right? <laughs> bring it on. <laughs> no, that's why I have the scruff, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. So if it was like, clean shaven, yeah, but I'm not in that club. Yeah, if you was clean shaven, that, that is a big difference, honestly. Because then you're like, wait, you just left that. Yeah. And you well, went outside with it? I, uh, well, two things. First thing, we've been wearing masks for fucking nine months, almost a year, actually. Yeah. So literally. no one, like, I can do whatever I want with my face. It's wonderful. Okay. Yeah. I got fucked up teeth. People don't even know that anymore. They don't even remember. Okay. <laughs> and secondly, I don't want to go there, Jordan, but I model my facial hair after a great man. My dad? Not your dad, my dad. Okay? Your dad. I was like, what are yep. we going with this? Exactly. So you watch your mouth. Oh man. I mean, my, my dad had a mustache. Yeah, for sure. I remember when he sh- I remember when he shaved it. One time he came downstairs and literally myself, my mom, and my brother were all like, What? Like it was it was so weird. You don't see. realize someone's space between their nose and their upper lip is so big until they shave off a mustache. You know? Yeah, honestly, it's almost like when people take off their glasses, it kind of looks yeah, like significantly Clark different. Yeah, honestly, exactly. that doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. Oh, no, yeah, of course not. Like, it that's doesn't. the laziest writing in the world. Yeah. Like, it was like the what? The 20s when Superman came around? I don't something know. like that. The like, 40s. Batman at least put on a mask. So it was like, yeah, uh, maybe I can tell that that's Val Kilmer, but like, just removing glasses and like changing yeah. your out of your suit. Uh, I would definitely be like, you look just like Clark. Like, holy shit. Seems Clark, weird. Your doppelganger is Superman. <laughs> also, Clark, you're fucking Jack, bro. <laughs> like you work <laughs> yeah, in a exactly. newspaper, bro. <laughs> What's going on here? And the first time him and Lois Lane boned, I don't think she knew he was Superman. Right. So like, was she like, ow, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> how does he, can you turn it down that easy? He must've been awesome at sex, dude. I mean, I'm sure he tried uh, yeah. his best. So, I mean, we all try. Talk about stamina. <sighs> yeah, he could, yeah. And honestly, if he fucked it up, he could just fly around the world backwards and do it, change try it again. time. Like, yeah. Was he just a serial rapist? Just like getting. Ra- whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I feel like he would just like do it and then be like, just kidding. <laughs> just go back. to. Uh, yeah, the- you're right. I agree. Honestly, Superman- though. Superman was a horrible person and he inappropriately touched people without him knowing. I don't want to say the word. The word is just so scary, dude. You yeah, just no, threw it right no. out there. You just threw it right out there and like I took my breath away. Took my breath away. Um, anyway, um, this is the the actual dun, 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 topic dun, dun. that we need oh. to get to today. Um oh, yeah. dude, so there's a Roll new the king- tape. There's oh, a new no. There's a new King Kong versus Godzilla movie coming out. Oh, which yeah, yeah, yeah. Is... Who do you got, by the way? Who do you think won in that fight? <sighs> man, honestly, I think King Kong takes it, man. No like... way, bro. Are you... 
You craft macaroni and cheese eat motherfuckers <laughs> have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, about. Godzilla can like breathe like laser fire or something. Yes, dude. But, he's the size of the the Sears Tower. But it, he also has this humongous tail that's like holding them back. Like okay, yeah. King Kong's gonna be jumping around that city. He's, he's really fast. Why are they fighting? Why don't they just like team up and team fight up. other things like global Literally, warming? I thought- I thought we solved it in the other King Kong movie. Okay. He lived happily ever after what brought him back to wherever they're fighting. I don't know, but I feel bad for those residents that are like, we just spackled up our last hole. Yeah, and they're like seriously. round two, bitch. Literally, Let's do it. Yeah. I don't that's know. a, that's a great point. Anyway, well, I'll respectfully disagree. I'll just say that, uh, I feel like King Kong has like more like range, you know, he can like move his arms around and he be can cool. Move better, but Godzilla's like, like in a tight little, like I have little arms. Yeah, but he's so strong. He's like, um, I don't know. Anyway, what was uh, what what was it that you wanted to talk about? Okay, so when they're making that movie, mm-hmm. and they're like CGIing the entire movie because that's what they do now. Okay. <laughs> Did they purposely have to like CGI out King Kong's dong? <laughs> because I feel like it would be it would do just as much damage to the city. Also, he has one, right? I don't think Godzilla. He's got to have a dong, dude. He's got to. And it's got to be. He's not wearing a diaper. No. Or a speedo. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably terrifying. Holy shit, dude. Um, Because, yeah, that would be like crashing into windows. Yeah. And and knocking. He'd like do a. Honestly. Doing the helicopter (laughs) and just like knock some planes out of the sky. Just create a hurricane with his wing. I'm so sorry for the visual. <laughs> um, yeah, I, dude. They, I feel like if he took a knee, he would scrape it on the ground. And oh, for sure. I mean, I'm just, not. I don't know what gorilla dicks generally look like. Just in general, I'm just saying but it's I, like he's huge. It's got to be huge. It's got to be gigantic, especially now because they made him bigger for this movie, right? So it's like proportionately. Yeah, proportionally, but like also, like how do you even artistically get rid of it? You just, if, is let, he just like a Ken doll? A let me ask you a question. What's up? Speaking of double standards, okay? <laughs> Let's say there was a Queen Kong, you know? Yeah. You think they would just leave her vag lips? I mean, I'm kind of grossed out at this point. I don't <laughs> want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> you brought it up, dude. You Listen, brought it up. Now we're a, here. There's an appendage. Let's talk about protruding. Okay. No, I don't want it to. Honestly, Queen Kong grosses me out. I'm really... <laughs> Cause she's got to have tits too. Oh yeah. Ooh, I bet they'd be awesome, bro. They're just huge. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Fuck. No, yeah. I think that they uh, they have to take it out. I will. I will speculate that King Kong would have to have just a uh, a fantastic rod. You know, just yeah, a great uh, pole. I guess you could call sure, it. Sure, sure, sure. Um, what about Godzilla? Is Godzilla a man or a woman? Do we know? Honestly, defy? do lizards even have dicks? I don't even know. He Is he a lizard? He's like he an alligator or something, right? Something. He's like a dinosaur. Jeez. All of our fans are so mad at us for not knowing this right now. Every single, literally one of them. Yeah. I mean? Or they're like jotting down like, these guys have got some good points. I don't yeah. understand how these guys aren't famous yet. Yes. Let's hope for that one, Jeremy. Thank you. Love you. I just, I just feel like if you were going to CGI, yeah, King you gotta Kong stay true. It's movie, art. You it's gotta art. like put a building in front of him at all times. Yeah, for <laughs> so sure. So that anybody, because I mean, like, is, is he like a Ken doll where it's just nothing there? Uh, Matt, well, it's it's gotta be, I guess, or it's super. It's actual normal sized. What if it's just <laughs> he has a, a huge, like a regular gorilla sized wiener? Yeah, but he just yeah. happens to be like eighty stories tall. Yes, exactly. That's got. I think that's got to be it, right? It's just got to be really small. I don't know. I'm gonna watch the movie and literally do nothing but pay attention to his pelvic area. <laughs> that's the only reason I want to watch the movie at this point is to yeah. see how big Kong's dong is. You know what I mean? That's honestly should be the title of the movie. Fuck Kong's Godzilla. dong. Kong's dong. I don't think Kong's we need to chant dong. it, but I think we're all part of a group that l- wants to see it. Kong's dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude i don't know i don't know when that movie comes out but i'm kind um, of a fan of monsters like 
and I, I don't know why they're fighting again. It's like Batman versus Superman. What the hell are they doing? Yeah, and Batman. I don't, never mind. That's just I've no seen way. enough. But anyway, Marvel. The movies are just superior than the DC ones. Um, I oh, hope yeah. everybody fights me in the comments about that. Um, like and subscribe. Smash it. Okay. Um, all right. I think <laughs> that we have come to a very special part of the show, Jordan. Sure. Yeah. I think it's time to introduce our very first segment. Um, first segment on segment, the first podcast on the first podcast ever. Yep. Um, my true love gave to me. Don't sing it, please. No. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, Fucking idiot of the noise. week. Noise. Yeah. Uh, that's right. We are the two fucking idiots. We consider ourselves fucking idiots. I'm one of them, and he's yeah, the, I'm other, the other. Yeah. And hopefully, you are too. We yeah. love you, you fucking idiots. Yeah. So we you. don't think of that name as a a bad name. No, no, no. It's um, not a put down. It's more of a term of endearment, honestly. So that being said, um, let's get to the fucking idiot of the week. You got someone? I got someone. His name is Hunter Khan. Okay. He's a twenty year old Minnesota native, who okay. in the whole GameStop stock thing that happened last week okay okay he won he won thirty thousand i won whatever earned well, 30 yeah, won, yeah earned yeah he won thirty thousand dollars in that entire saga and he donated two thousand dollars or six nintendo switches to a local children's hospital in minnesota um, okay nice. that dude is a fucking idiot that's man. a that's, fucking idiot right that's there. fucking awesome he, he goes Let to cornell go. Um, so he's already smart as shit. Um, he mm-hmm. could have used that money for anything. He but... probably has a bunch of other, other money too, right? I mean, his name is Hunter, so yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> he's um, had a 401k since he was 13, but he was born with a tennis racket and a golf club mm-hmm. in both hands. Oh, um, man, love he's golf, playing really. shuffleboard right now, <laughs> yeah, literally 100 in those in those shorts that only go halfway down your thigh. Yeah, he's got a sweater tied around his vest or his, his neck at all times, <laughs> all times. Yeah, he's you ready open to his go. Closet and it's just different colored shirts with different colored sweaters already pre tied around the shirt. Yeah. Yeah, him and Bryson and Keegan are best friends. They're they love each other. Yeah, um, hitting the links together on the golf course. Honestly, Uh, they call it links. So anyway, he is my fucking idiot of the week because that's a a cool fucking story. Yeah, what a guy! I love that Jordan. I really do. Um, I have some Doge coin myself. Doge. I've heard about this way more than I want to. Um, uh <laughs> honestly at this point i'm just not gonna join into this on principle at this dude point. you're messing up honestly it might be as good as it's ever gonna be but um but that's not the point i'm just saying i dabble with the stock market because i'm super duper smart yeah for sure you are the wolf know that. of your of living room my living room well yep. <laughs> why i gotta stop winking i'm just All gonna right, so- add like bing! noises for bing! every single time you wink oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> bing I just did it for you. Damn it. Yeah. I'll just do it on top of it. All right, cool. So my fucking idiot of the week um, is kind of a feel good story. Um, it's a 91 year old San Diego man was reunited with his wallet that he lost 53 years ago. And that's not it in Antarctica. Okay. <laughs> this guy is in the Navy. He lost his wallet in Antarctica and he got it back after 53 hold on, hold years. On. I really enjoy the way you're pronouncing Antarctica, Antarctica the correct way. It's actually really Antarctica? Pleasing. Is yeah. that not? Is it? I just kind of run through words sometimes. So I'm just like Antarctica, whatever. Like <laughs> you're you're literally pronouncing it like nicely. It's it's nice. Anyway, back to your, your fucking um, idiot. I don't even want to talk about that anymore. I just want to say Antarctica and wink a bunch of times. All right. <laughs> that was for you. Um, according to the Tribune, uh, he was reunited with his billfold after it was discovered wedged behind a locker um, in McMurdo Station, which is United States Antarctic Antarctic Research Station. Did they um, just not look for it? How when he, when he dirty was that building, dude? Yeah, how dirty? I mean, <laughs> they never move stuff, and like, do they have computers now? Fifty-three years. Yeah, what is going on? Chiseling into fucking stone, dude. I don't wow. know. That's but, cool though. You fucking idiot. I'm happy for you that you got your wallet back. You served our country um, and you enjoy your last couple of years on earth. Yep. It's coming up. 
So. I should have said that. I should not. <laughs> Listen, I I'm glad you it. got your wallet back. I hope you enjoy your last couple of breaths because yep. <laughs> it's over with. Um, I hear San Diego's lovely. You won't be experiencing it for very often. Enjoy uh, after, it. after today. So <laughs> enjoy you your know, wallet man. and uh, make sure you just don't lose it again. You Life is a idiot. highway and your exit's coming up. But yeah, honestly, um, enjoy it with your wallet in your pocket. You fucking idiot. Who, who found it, though? Like somebody that worked at that place was like, hey, I got a San Diego man's wallet. <laughs> <laughs> they just knew they're like, oh, my God, 53 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Bill was complaining he <laughs> lost his wallet. I finally fucking found it. You'll never believe it. Honestly, though. Yeah, that's a that's a crazy story. I wouldn't I probably wouldn't return it. I'd be like, this has a 1947 address on it. I'm not. Yeah. How am I going to do this? He's I not sold it at a at Bill's a not on market. Facebook for sure. No, no, definitely no. No, he's he in doesn't iron know where he is. Yeah, he's not sure. <laughs> it's not even his wallet, bro. He just like <laughs> thinks he lost a wallet. Somebody like, gave him a wallet. He's like, I got it. It's 53 like, years ago. They told him it was his and he was like, I guess you're right. He's a lying 91 year old man who doesn't deserve any wallets. Also, Honestly, fuck that guy. I take yeah. it back. He is not the fucking idiot of the week. I revoke it. So, no, so that's a good pick, though. That, so, yeah, this you. is this is going to be a, a weekly segment, a weekly or thing where we podcast. Just pick someone. Yeah. yeah, whatever. A little positivity in the world, you know. Yeah, it really feels good. Honestly, do this as a viewer right now. Google uplifting news. Mm-hmm, 100%. And honestly, I read like three or four articles, and I was like, there is some good in the world because any other time I open up any app, I'm like. Oh, world's on fire. Great. Yep. Awesome. How about All yours? Right. That's the way I like it. I never get bored. And I never get bored. I just watched Shrek yesterday, dude. The synchronicity. Dude. You're messing me up. He, I mean, Smash Mouth just came around at the right time for that, that oh, soundtrack. Yeah. Big time. Like, I you might as well be walking on the sun. You know what I mean? Like, it's so crazy. <laughs> I'm a believer. I mean, hey, In now, them. you're an all-star. You know, get your get game your on. Get your game on. Yep. <laughs> it's it's a Go. great. I Go actually play. had... I actually had that CD. Astro Lounge was the of course, yeah, uh, CD, and I don't think I listened to anything but the songs that I knew before I had the CD. Um, um, I typically don't do that, but I was like eleven, so I was just like, "Listen, I got things to do. I don't well, have time to be listening to this whole album." We talked about uh, Baja Men, yeah, and I'm pretty sure there was like five or six bangers on that CD, dude. I mean, why was that song so popular? Who let the dogs out, by the way, is who we're talking about for all you millennials who have no idea. Okay, millennials yeah, might know, but Gen Z or whatever. Yeah, whatever the, the younger our, our fan base is. spans just a wide variety of yep, people, from so. that 91 year old walletless man to Love a you, six way, year old Robbie's idiot. Robbie's son. That's yep. those are our followers. Yep. Um well, the body was nice. The party was jumping. Um, anyway, I enjoy that song. And I remember a friend, uh, a cousin of mine called me at my grandma's house and was like, okay. <laughs> you know how like back in the day, gifts for birthdays were like, I guess not back in the day, but just in general, there's supposed to be surprises. Yeah. He literally, he literally was like, hey, listen, my mom's going shopping. What do you want? <laughs> and I was like, I had an answer right away. I was like, you know that Who Let the Dogs Out song? I want that CD. Wait, wait, wait. How old is your cousin? He's like a year older than me. So, so at, at the time, I was probably 11 like years old. He's like, hey, my uh, my mom's <laughs> going shopping. What do you want for your birthday? Honestly, I we were pretty close to them when I was younger, but I, I couldn't even believe that I was getting a gift in general. Like, and yeah. I don't know. It just seemed like so out of place. But it was like one of my only times in my life where somebody asked me about a gift. Yeah. And I had an answer for them, exactly. like without even questioning. I was just no like, hesitation. yep, I want Baja Men and then also, also Eiffel 65 if you're yeah. going to get me anything else because Honestly, I'm blue, da ba dee da ba die. And I would, uh, I would say without hesitation that the Baja Men um, have got to be your favorite <laughs> band or group of all time. Right? Honestly, I was a Baja boy when I first started yeah. listening. Yeah. And I became a Baja man after you are. that CD. You are, so you are a Baja man. <laughs> and I'm proud of you. And you know who lets the dogs out? You do. I do. All right. Me. Only you. me. You. You. Every you. morning. Yeah. Every morning. Every yep. morning. I have two dogs. Um, they're uh, both. Uh, actually, Albus makes his debut as a 
uh, cameo oh, in our yeah. podcast in the theme song. He literally, I, people aren't gonna, dog. people aren't Wait. gonna believe it. He barked at the exact time that 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 first played, yeah. and it was like perfect. I don't know. Somehow the pitch matches too. We like, almost like reshaped the rest of the song around the yeah, dog bark at the for end. Sure, yeah. For sure, for sure, big time. It's, it's awesome. Anyway, um, my dogs are named Luna and Albus because we're Harry Potter fans. Ooh, yeah. And oh, yeah. Well, then recite the sixth book to me cover to cover without looking. That's not fair. Um, that's then you're not a book. real fan. I guess you're right. If that's your metric on mm-hmm. uh, fandom, but it seems kind of rude. But jeez, oh, I'm so rude. Did you just oh, come on, bro? I thought we were going to talk about this, but it's fine. Oh, um, no, dude. What? Your brother just sent, so I'm also, okay, I'm in a group thread with Jordan's brother. Oh, God. Obviously, Jordan, you're my favorite, okay? You're my number one field. This Don't is, this is get defensive. News. This is breaking news. So we have a, I'll call him an acquaintance. I'm friends with his brothers. I told you is uh, supposed to fight tonight at the UFC event. Has been working for years to get this opportunity. And then just got, um, he was a last minute replacement for a fight tonight against like a number nine ranked opponent. It was a huge opportunity. And your brother just messaged that uh, he wasn't medically cleared to fight and it's been canceled. Damn. He did the weigh-ins. I mean, we're so close to the fight. I was so excited, man. What a bummer. What would have medically made him not able? Like, dude, it has to be AIDS. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. (laughs) probably like a spleen issue or something like yeah probably a spleen. something that's like you know did i step on your joke were you gonna say spleen I'm sorry. no no i was just thinking like what would debilitate somebody yeah. that couldn't continue well, if they passed away in and everything usually usually a weight cut but he is fighting a weight class up um he said he walked in were they just the like scale. listen you're palestinian are you saying now that the ufc is racist bro listen Dana White has a girl's name. So uh, what does that mean? Oh, yeah. Have you He's ever met protecting. any other guy named Dana? Mm-mm, never. There's a comedian named Carvey. Dana yep. Gould and Dana Carvey. Dana Shit. Carvey. Okay, there's a lot more than I think. Um, yeah. Have you ever met a guy named Brittany? I don't think so. Case closed. <laughs> Yeah, totally related. Anyway, <laughs> he's not fighting tonight. Um, that's a huge bummer. I hope he gets his opportunity soon for stepping up. Um, man, that's right. At least but... like a free bu- like buffet card or something. Yeah, you know? I'm sure is they'll it, feed him. Is it in know? Vegas? Mm, I think so. I don't think they're on Fight Island because maybe he would have made it. Maybe I'll just drive uh, six, seven hours down south and maybe I take him out for a few, you know? Yeah, you should, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> baby honestly after the 27 hour trip out here i don't want to drive anymore i'm good thing you live a stone's throw to your work yeah it's pretty cool whatever that is i go home on my lunch it's uh it's kind of really i i have yeah the last couple of days i've I've gotten i went home on my lunch and then uh because you're literally five ten minutes right it's legit like three and a half minutes like it's Jesus Christ, it's weird like nobody else has that experience in my entire life ever so i feel like i already feel guilty whenever i have something better than somebody else just in general i'm just like sorry i have both working lungs 91 yeah. year old san diego man um but now that i have such a short commute to work i literally feel guilty like you i should, just dude. I'm like I'm sorry actually, i didn't realize else. I didn't realize it was literally three and a half minutes. I'm a little angry. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, we ordered some furniture cause we didn't bring any with and yep. it's supposed to come next Tuesday, but I have to go yell at some people cause they sent us a, th- a thing yesterday. It said it's going to be here on March 2nd, which is not next Tuesday. Um, nope. so that's kind of annoying, but I was thinking like, man, you know what? I'm going to have to take like a half day off work or something yeah. to make sure these guys are here. But then I was like, no. you know what? Why don't I just take my lunch when they're here? And then I can just go back to work and not have to waste any time. So yeah, probably faster than your lunch break would have been too, but yeah, honestly. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. So yeah. You got any more, you got any more topics, bro? I got one more and it's not that good. So, Oh man, none of mine were good. I really dropped the ball today. Um, Just kidding. No, that's pretty much it for me. I mean, this has been a literal blast. Yeah. I know you have another topic. We can talk about it, but I just wanted to say that, you know, to be real for a second, this is 
Um, we've lived within 45 minutes of each other for our whole lives. You moved out there and we've talked about, you know, having a podcast for a long time. Yeah. And to have that opportunity and to be able to keep in touch, like, and I don't know, like the energy, cause we're kind of, we're pumped up. It feels like we're telling stories at a party. Yeah. We're showmen for sure. Exactly. Um, you know, at a party, you don't even want to be anywhere no. near me and Robbie at a party no. because whatever you're doing in your life will get steamrolled by our fucking nonsense. We are um, the worst. You we could cure just... <laughs> like children's cancer and we'd be like, oh, yeah. shut up guy. We got to tell you about this story when we were little. About eighth grade, we won the football championship, right? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Um, Literally, we have to say that one, Jordan. Yeah. I had to yeah. just jump in and say that, but yeah. It's fine. People that have heard it before, they know. They know. They know. My yeah, wife has yeah. heard it about 27 times and she's hated every single one of them. So oh, yeah, she hates us <laughs> you specifically, but me a little bit too. So I asked her today, I was like, are you going to subscribe to our podcast? And she was like, I don't even know how to do that. I don't even care. And I was like, I can show you and you can be a subscriber and we can make money off of this stuff. Steph, Steph if you're listening right now, good, but also <laughs> we love you thank you for being so nice <laughs> i don't want to say anything mean she did so much she's she literally texted me while i was while we're doing this and says that she created a facebook page for us and we're what? both we're both admins so we can add things so does she know my facebook password she would she would just <laughs> it's probably She's... Velveeta, honestly let's just be honest <laughs> bro, why would... bro why would you literally say that on a podcast bro now they're gonna know <laughs> I just like bringing things back, you know, Velveeta, something back. Velveeta 69, 420, dude. Yeah. Velveeta soldier 69, 420. <laughs> I'm changing my gamer tag. Cause I just bought <laughs> an Xbox for my son. So now I play Xbox two. And uh, yeah, after 15 years of all of my best friends playing video games, I was like, yeah, okay. Now seems like a good time to start doing it and not knowing anything, but. Yeah, no, it's a good time. And especially like with me being so far away and you'd like yeah. obviously never being able to like leave our house anymore. Um, it's nice to be able to play some games with people and keep up. So yeah, exactly. It's just nice. Tell hilarious stories or yeah. you know, ask people, how do I jump? You know, mm -hmm. whatever you're normally asking, you know. Well, yeah. I, my life um, revolves around Minecraft right now because yeah. that's what Sawyer loves, but um i'm sick and tired of it i know way too much about it I don't and it, uh so. yeah it's actually a fun game but like it's not that fun sawyer what do you freaking got the brain of a six-year-old you freaking <laughs> loser there's adults that play it so boom i don't know i don't know we'll see my uh but yeah dude this has been fun for sure this we talked awesome. about this for a really long time yep um and i think it's finally like let's just shit or get off the pot you know what i mean 100 like, there's been some crazy things in our lives lately you know you moved across the country i've had some loss in my life recently that um really has made it important for us to kind of get on the horse here and and realize our potential and so i'm excited yeah, so if you want to subscribe or hit that like button. Smash that like button! We should just get a Patreon because free money is free money. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it is. Like, um, I don't know how it works, but I've actually subscribed to a few people's Patreon because I like totally was mm -hmm. like, I hope you keep making things. Like, exactly. keep doing what you're doing. Exactly. I, I, um, I'm part of this, like, you know, I watch the Pat McAfee show pretty much all the time. It's like my sports news show and um, I pay the $2 a month to be part of like the crew. So I get to watch certain things. Like you're saying, basically a Patreon situation. Yeah. And I'm watching a video and people are like talking shit about the $2 charge. They're like, how dare you have these features that cost $2, you know, <laughs> I'm not rich, dude. I'm very much not rich, but it's like to spend $2 to support someone that you really, yeah. um, like care about and want to see them succeed it's it's a no-brainer so uh patreon coming soon <laughs> like 
Pat McAfee probably doesn't need those two dollars because he's popular. Obviously, he's yeah. you know he's starting at like second base. He was a punter in the NFL sure. yeah. for a long time. Well, you know. so maybe on first base, punters. You know, uh, he was like a famous punter. Like he's the brand. You know, it's for the brand. That's nobody it, cares about Pat O'Donnell. Honestly, uh, we're Bear fans. We're hey. sad, sad Bear fans. Don't even say it. Literally, if they, we might be getting Carson Wentz, dude. Did you see that? I actually got a text earlier from our uh, realtor who oh, was geez. like, he's a bear fan. He, his family grew up uh, in Illinois. So he texted me this morning and was like, why are we chasing Carson Wentz? And I was like, this is interesting. Like I, he was a great realtor, <sighs> but I was like, are we, are we, are we, bear, friend? are we bear friends right now? Yeah. This is pretty cool. Okay. It's you cool. Did, you have already, okay, hold on. <laughs> You've already made friends with the guy who lived in the house before you. Yeah. You've got a date coming up with your boss at work. Okay. Yeah, and sure. now you're friends with your realtor. Talk about starting on second base, dude. Dude, you're doing you know, great. You know what's really funny? Before we moved out here, we went to a uh like a Sammy's type restaurant. Okay. Don't know, you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, that kind of place. Yeah, it was up Portillo's. In... Portillo's. Yeah, Portillo's. Exactly. Yeah. And we were standing in line waiting for our, our food to come out. And this guy, I was I think I had a bear's head on, and he was like, This guy, I didn't know who he was. He was literally like what time do they play tomorrow? And I was, first of all, I wanted to be like noon. You fucking moron. Yeah. We're not good enough for prime time. <laughs> yeah. <bro. laughs> Every single week we're at noon, even on Mondays. They're like, no, 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 let's rethink this. <laughs> yeah, let's um, uh, anyway. So, but first ever noon Monday game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So bears versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, seriously. Um, but he was like, what time do they play tomorrow? And I was like, uh, noon actually and then we we had like a small conversation for like 30 seconds and it ended with me and him both being like all right man i'll see you later nice to, you know yeah. nice to meet you and i remember getting in the car and just being like steph i think we can do this like yeah we can make friends even though it sounds terrifying to me yeah. at times but i was like i think we can do this and we've had a pretty good experience so far with one week you know here already i haven't been you like you know scolded by anybody friends. Yeah, you have yeah. more friends in Reno than you ever had in Wisconsin or Illinois. Honestly, they, my my entire groomsman party was the only people that I consider friends in my hey, life at this point. Hey, he's probably listening, so you better. Chris Graham is also your friend, okay? Chris Graham is my friend. You're right. I forgot. Maybe <laughs> if Steph had one more friend, okay? All right. Anybody. <laughs> everybody that was a groomsman and anybody i've ever bowled with is my friend actually yeah for sure i actually uh we uh, were texting we were texting last night because fridays were uh you know our bowling night or whatever. oh your night together you our and night together friend, yeah, for, for sure bro and i'm uh, not jealous i mean listen you guys are probably gonna golf this year let's just be honest oh yeah um, i'm stealing all your friends dude <laughs> <laughs> for sure dude but no yeah we were texting last night and i was like Man, I, I do miss going to bowling on Fridays. Like it was a fun time for sure, but yeah. we'll figure it out. They like <laughs> some random hobby you started on a whim. They turned into being like the mo the nicest, most thoughtful people in the entire world, dude. dude what a I, I told them a million times. Like they saved our social life. Yeah, pretty big much. time. Like we were forty five minutes plus away from everybody, and then mm -hmm. on a whim, Chris was like you guys want to go to trivia? And I was like, sure. And we yeah. went and met two other people. And then it was just pretty much lights out from call it on. a day. Call Those, it a day. They both came to our wedding with yeah. like minimal time. Like uh, they, you know, we had probably like three or four months to the wedding. And I was yeah. like, uh, Chris, I think was already going cause he worked with me. So I was like inviting those guys, but uh, Chris and AJ, the other two, I remember getting in the car and being like, I think they made the cut. <laughs> I was They've like, proven themselves. I think, yeah. you know, I, I really care about them and I want yeah. them to be there. So it was seriously, it was, but them inviting us to trivia and then having us come out to bowling every once in a while, literally saved our lives when it came yeah. to just being like happy and looking forward to something that was social outside of, you know, work and stuff. So, yeah, I'm, that's awesome, dude, honestly. Yeah. And I, I like them too. I mean, they're great people for sure. So Chris I mean, and I did share a moment at your wedding <laughs> for sure. shirtless dancing in the middle of the dance floor. You know, it was, it was, a, it was a good time. I did not get lucky at that wedding. If you guys were wondering, might've had something to do with the shirt. I mean, whatever. 
I tried to get you uh, lucky at that wedding, and I don't. I don't think it went. I I don't drink ever. Yeah, true. So I had like three and a half sips of a Jack and Coke, and I was like flying. You're matchmaker at that point. <laughs> and I remember going outside to uh, somebody who shall not be named. Yeah, don't I, say it. I was just like, listen, Robbie wants you. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like what and i was what? like robbie like, wants to have sex with you yeah i was like robbie you know Velveeta soldier he wants you and uh it didn't work out i don't know if it was just because i was like drooling on myself or Might have the been. fact that Might have i was been. trying to like solicit sex for you i don't know what it was it just didn't work out you um, didn't you didn't offer her the money i told you that i would Nope. I I would never do that for anybody. I don't know oh. why, like, drunk yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan. I wasn't drunk. I was literally just, like, slightly tipsy. I just was like, listen, I know what Robbie needs. Yep. <laughs> I know he's that too shy right to there. say things. That right there. I'm going to yeah. go up and talk to someone for him. Oh, I don't man. care if that person's married or <laughs> whatever. That was, that was a blast, dude, honestly. For sure. I, uh, I had a flashback to that summer because your brother and I, um, co-best men in your wedding, Mm-hmm. Um, I did the honorable thing, obviously, and stepped aside so he could be number one best man. MMA know. Coliseum, the show. The show. YouTube. He is literally check it out. The be- the best man in the world. Yeah, for sure. Um, unless he comes out and says something offensive, then you know we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But in that case, I don't know him. Um, never never heard of him in my life. But yeah, until then, he's the best man ever. But um we were also in a wedding uh maybe a month before that for mike i think it it was yeah yeah and um specifically this memory stands out to me because we ended up you know getting a little crazy the night before we stayed at this like place up in lake geneva and your brother and i shared a bedroom because we're boys you know we're brothers at this point and we got drunk the night before and i realized at like 2 a.m i had to shave my head or i was going to have old man you know, half head for this wedding. And if you just shave it off, people forget that you're old. And I woke up in the morning and I looked at my pillow and I thought that I had like seriously hurt myself because I had nicked my head in like six different places (laughs) in my drunken stupor and then went to bed. And literally the pillowcase in this room was just like 35, just like a braille of blood across this pillow. (laughs) And I was like, what happened last night? How did this, how is this even possible? But smooth as a whistle. Was that? I'm surprised you didn't stand up and were like, this is a code. <laughs> All right. If I connect these dots, <laughs> I have to figure this out. It's a sign. There's a treasure map on the back of the, uh, Trump, the of Independence. Trump is sending me a message that he's going <laughs> to save the children. Okay. I mean, let's just stay off of that topic yeah sure. we'll we'll um, stick we'll stay away from that for now yeah. we're just gonna maybe cut that part out um, no nope, leave it in i love <laughs> all right anyway. sounds good this is awkward all right uh but seriously um this has been a blast and, it's weird uh, while you were telling that story because like you wouldn't shut the fuck up like i <laughs> <laughs> well who are the people here to see? Jordan? No, literally, Obviously. while you were telling that story, I had like a out of body experience where I was like, <laughs> I'm listening to a podcast, but yeah. I'm in, in the podcast. Like, I, I feel so fucking weird right now. Like, so meta, bro. Cause it's, so it's meta. just like the audio. I can't, I can't hear me in my, no, in I my can't headphones. hear me. Exactly. I was thinking that earlier. So, like, I was just like, what am I, what is this? Weird. I listen to too many podcasts. It's just, the clear audio of you telling a story was me being like, I better go do the dishes while I'm listening to this mm-hmm. because I, at this point in my life, can't do anything without audio stimulation at this point. percent. Yep. If I have to go like let the dogs out, I'm literally like, all right, I got to find a podcast for this six second walk. Yeah. And just, I can't do it. I have it in my so pocket I, all day long and it just, I play it. Whatever Sawyer's I'm like, Sawyer's like, dad, let me tell you about school today and all these things that I accomplished. My teacher said I did such a good job. I'm so smart. And I'm like, Sawyer, shut up. I'm listening to a podcast. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Bill Pat Burr McAfee. Is talking. <laughs> Pat McAfee is asking me for $2 and I need to get my credit I, card. I have to get it out. So shut up, whatever. You're good at school. I don't care. You know? Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs>
That's hilarious. Did you no uh, did you have any other uh, topics, bro? No, I mean we could save it for the next one. We're not that that creative, so we should probably keep a couple for. Uh... Honestly, when you actually put like a timeline and being like, listen, we gotta have some shit to talk about. I was yep. starting to become like. I was nervous at the beginning uh, of the um, podcast. <laughs> how how do we even communicate? Our normal yeah. phone calls are just this podcast. Yeah, exactly. It's Literally, it's settled in. Yeah. We were a little tight at the beginning, even. I was like excited and a little nervous, but it does feel like we're at a party though, honestly. Yeah, it's it's a nice a those nice are some of my of like problem. favorite moments, but also it's like it's in the back of my mind, I know we're being like assholes to the entire yeah. rest of the party. To anyone else that wants to speak, 100%. Yeah, literally. Like, I mean, it's because everybody's laughing uncontrollably. At how hilarious we at are. At how yeah. hilarious we are and that just... we can't stop. <laughs> and we won't stop. But yeah. So anyway, um, is this, are we done? Is this all Yeah, I think so. Right um, our friendship not the podcast i i knew this was coming um, i dreaded every minute of this and it, <laughs> and it lived up to that expectation i had a horrible time um, um i'm really sorry but i'm glad you made friends in reno was it, was it the velveta thing was it, don't care velveta it... squad for life bro v l v t a bro velveta dude <laughs> is that <laughs> okay um, that's an established gang sign not i really hope there's like i really hope there's like an artist watching who's just going to make a velveta squad Dude, like shirt. 10 years maybe you know like no one is gonna <laughs> listen to this i hope so i hope I, a million people like this i think people will listen and then Our shut friends. it off and be like <laughs> i hate this <laughs> well before you do which you're long gone by now uh, leave a like on the video. Let's say, let's set a goal, right? In every YouTube video I watch, not in podcasts though. I don't, I don't know where you're going with this. Did you, you kind of froze up there for a second. No, I'm just holding my hands out. You can't hear me. <laughs> you're good now. You're good now. <laughs> I. Let's get two likes on this podcast. All right. If That's we get two likes, goal. we will be two times as happy as we are right now. Yes. And we'll make out. Honestly, I'm going to like it from my burner what? account. So oh, I'll just, shit. let's go for four. Four likes. Four yeah. likes. We're not going to make out. We're not going to make out. No. Yeah. Unless. For sure. But um, no, 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 we're not. We're not. Yeah. If you want to, uh, I was going to maybe record this separately, but I think we could just do it on the fly. Honestly, if you want to get a hold of us, we are at. Oh, yeah. A uh, we have an email two fucking idiots pod at gmail.com. At gmail, yeah, it's two letter two, number two. <laughs> number is two. it a letter? Is that what you call it? It's no, a numeral, it's a number, it's a, a number. numeral two. No, numeral two, yeah, just two, like this two. one. Fucking with G's though, because we don't yeah. swear, yeah, two fucking obviously F U G G I N idiots pod at gmail.com. We have a TikTok send us topics to just send us a hello. Yeah. Jeremy, <laughs> or some hilarious topics Don't... to talk about. Okay, I thought you were going to request uh, some Queen Kong. <laughs> you know, I mean, whatever. But we have a we have a TikTok, we have uh, Instagram, we have a Facebook now. Yeah, we have um, uh, a YouTube channel which you're watching this on. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, if you're not audio people, I totally get it, man. 100. percent Are we I doing personally... that already? Are we putting this one out? on I the would, interwebs i would like to because that's okay. how i personally can consume a lot of content. oh okay I'm a, I'm, a yeah. I'm a youtube guy yeah i'm a youtube guy i mean we're doing the video for the youtube people yeah do we um, look good don't answer that i don't think yeah so, so yeah <laughs> give us uh this give is... us a jingle let us know and we'll uh and we'll talk to you soon yeah sounds good bye guys bye Peace. Fuck, you fucking idiots you hey! fucking idiot